Hi everyone, this is Lady Babaji. Welcome into my channel and welcome into this next Magdalene Consciousness reading. And if I sound a little bit funny, we've just had a change in season to spring here in Australia. <laughs> and I'm just getting that first initial uh, sinus thing. So just excuse me, I feel absolutely fine. It's just the season that my uh, system does not agree with at the moment here. <laughs> um, let's get into this reading with Magdalene Consciousness. Now I've been getting some strong messages this morning and it's vague though I've got to say and it was just like no we'll just start with this and then see where it goes but what we're starting with is the monad. We're starting with the, uh, Mary Magdalene wanting to talk about the truth of the monad and there's some kind of coming back to an original creator plan here and there's been a deflection of access and there's an expression coming through in this reading. If you're coming to this reading, it's very highly likely that you've had some past experience, some past life perhaps with the order of the Magdalene with the Essenes. Um, there is a strong, even last night in my dreams, I was um, very much connected to the Daughters of the Sun, a scene energy and that original, uh, it came across to me in the dream as a feeling um, of that sun warmth, safety. It felt um, very divine masculine energy as well. But we've got the monad message mainly coming through. Now I've already uh, put this one at the top of the altar. It's just being very persistent and wanting to come out and yesterday I did a reading the um, the unicorn reading and there was a lot of rainbow energy there's a spectrum of light here and with this communication around esoteric topics and monad and and trying to put language language <laughs> excuse me I can't even get my own language out um, trying to put language around that which is beyond words and is multi-dimensional is tricky so i just want to keep that at the top here that there is something about the spectrum of light communication monad and what was the other one it was it was one other thing that obs that there had been barriers to get in that original connection to the creator plan the original creator plan i don't even know what that means yet but let's find out we've got 44 again the truth is revealed revelation i love the feather as well in this oracle so this is all about truth today in this reading enthusiasm you're being oh okay There's a huge sense of support, solidarity. There is sisterhood, brotherhood here. Um, your enthusiasm, your spirit guides enthusiasm to connect the ages 42 and 44 may be relevant as well as 26 we've got up here. But something over the last two years is what I'm getting. You've maintained a sense of enthusiasm about the mystical you need that they're saying you need to keep hope and optimism you don't have the answers yet something is coming out of this reading that helps and we've got ooh, manifesta which actually i didn't explain to you what this card means it says compensations compensation why am i having such trouble talking today sorry about that we'll just persist through i can't stop the reading now because <laughs> we're in the energy um Compensation, perseverance, this is all about divine law. This is about the law of compensation, the law of receiving. And we've got number 36, Manifesta. So there is something that Mary Magdalene is bringing through a message about something protected under divine law, some truth being revealed. It changes everything what they're saying it changes you don't have to do anything for this either it, as in 
it's the truth that's being revealed either by yourself or by another but that energy of truth is vital right now it's integrity and then i'm really thinking of that last chapter in the bible at the moment revelation so something might come up about that here and then as a consequence of this truth embodied by that order of magdalene collective and that magdalene consciousness there's something manifesting there's something that is manifesting mm, let me have a look what is that and then I'll come back to you there. I always start on the other side for some reason. I just have to go where the message has come. Usually there's not much structure in my readings. I have to channel it in the moment unless I've been given a reading format. Sometimes that happens um, and then I just go from there. But oh, so you, what is being manifested is something is getting cooked up in the kitchen and it's it is definitely a sacral creation. I mean, obviously the literal thing is all about nourishment, food, but it's what we consume. We're manifesting something about what we consume. What is that about? I'm looking at my, I'm not getting, a, I might have to come back to that one. They're saying, Let's go over here to this truth. But this is about consumption. There's a there's something, a byproduct here. Okay. Let's start back over here. Number 44. The truth is revealed. What what do you want to say, Mary, about this truth? Something in the water, because I just picked up the water. The water oracle, Rebecca Campbell. What is this truth? Okay, we've got a three here. We have the wellspring. What are you thirsty for? Body care, take a breath. Stagnant waters, feeling stuck. A call for shifts, flow and change. Don't drink the stagnant water. Immerse yourself, training, learning, new hobbies and passions. This is that esoteric learning. But there's been water not moving. Now water obviously in a tarot reading I never put anything beyond the literal sense I think that sometimes it absolutely can be literal but let's talk about it being elemental and being representing representing our emotions our subconscious what we don't know there's things that not are not moving that are stuck and this truth releases the floodgates but it's new now you have to get rid of it to learn anything. And by day I'm a school teacher. To learn anything, kids are usually much easier to teach than adults because when we have assumed knowledge or, or fixed knowledge, we can't add on to it as easily as we can open minds who um, are like sponges. And that's what I'm getting here. This stagnant waters is what we think we know about a situation and this reading is really coming through off the bat with a message of forget what you know right now not a dismissal of the work that you've done to learn anything but there's something more to a situation what is it what is the um situation what is this about They're showing me this bullseye. It's not a bullseye, but it looks to me like a bullseye. You're changing, you're expanding your focus. You're looking at something in a wider lens. You're seeing something. Revelation 44. 40. I, don't, I don't know the numbers in Revelation, the chapter in the Bible, but something about these numbers... 44 and 42 and 13 they're showing me 13 I don't know what those are I don't even I've got a huge big King James Bible somewhere 
but it's not very travel friendly. It's not very practical to have out. Oh my goodness, we've got balance, rebalancing, 32. On the bottom, we've got joy. We do have quite the contract energy with this divine law, truth, revelation. Something really wants to be made correct here with Mary. It's been stagnant too long. What are you, they're showing me, what are you thirsty for? You're thirsty for justice. It's 42, enthusiasm, joy. It's been, it's, it's feeling like your natural state is this. And it's been very difficult to keep a memory of that and tap back into that lately. Because things have been different, not heavy or anything, just different. Okay, they want to show me this thirsty. Okay. Oh, it's, it is feeling a bit cosmic thirst. It's... Oh. I'm seeing the ether element. I'm seeing that... Oh, they want that one. I'm seeing like a cosmic nourishment as well. I've got Holy Grail star being healing codes important information wounds are healed recharging we've got the holy grail and mary magdalene obviously in some lines of study people believe that she is the holy grail the one who created the lineage of the christ on earth as the birther of the divine light, the divine child. Oh, she wants to say something about that. Hang on. Oh, Melchizedek is coming through really strong with this connection with the Holy Grail. You've been taught the wrong story and also have had the story details omit omitted there is going to be something that is discovered and this is i'm seeing like archaeology wise not it doesn't look like a grail it looks like writing and she's saying the writing isn't what you think it's not incorrect but the fact that it's written down has made room for something else that is more important for you to focus on. Okay. Oof. You really are in that mystery school training here with this one because that's a cryptic message. But that's what we do here at Lady Babaji. It's just another day. You could spend years looking at this primary source like this piece of text and breaking it down but she's saying you can do that but it's only going to still give you half a story at best look at what it means that it was written down what did that then make space for something about learning some kind of school here there's some kind of there's something and I've always channeled this about the space the cup holds is the is the worth the value because it that has the ability to be replenished constantly but i feel i said at the start there's been like a that monad energy that original create creative plan there's been like a block to accessing it this star being healing codes is the key it's important information. There's a sense of universal justice here. I've got to say it. I'm, I'm going to pull a Zodiac card. I'm more thinking of the constellation, the energy, the light code origin, the mythology, rather than if it's your, your sun sign. But you take it as you feel is right for you. Let's have a look. Can you show me the star being healing codes? 
important information wounds are healed now when wounds are healed I don't want to state the obvious but I tell you in all of the history that I've studied there's a great change in societies and communities when the, there comes about an end of suffering end of pain that because it bursts hope again with every wonderful advancement in medicine it means families don't have to watch their loved ones in agony and leave the earth before their time so this is no small healing this healing creates a sense of empathy and compassion because people can get a sense of hope about life in general we've got the ninth house so we've this is our spiritual mastery this is the school this is broadening your horizons either spiritually academically or on a long journey now you're in some kind of study now if you're like me signing up for some course 99 percent of the time within spirituality is going to send you backwards the only time it hasn't with me was was with Eckhart Tolle and that that was next level that was amazing that brought me higher and lifted me on my path in a much more efficient and unconditionally loving way so if you're like me you're probably undertaking and have been your own inquiry with spirit and you're being taught through trial and error and you know making sense of this and that although you know for some you could be doing a course and hopefully there is so much look there's so much gaslighting and ego in the spiritual community it's pretty it's pretty bad um and here I am as, you know, a member of the spiritual community. And I hope that, you know, that sense of integrity, we need to have now more than ever as people start to edge into, for the first time, an opening to the creator, to God, to, you know, I'm not alone in the world, that type of feeling. And so hopefully that they're met with, truth speakers real people who are not holier than thou you know that done the right the, you know the shadow work the real shadow work so there is some kind of course here but I could also be like I said you and spirit this is I feel over this period of time when I'm recording this which is September 8th um 2024 we're going into this eclipse season to this October is going to be really intense with the planetary changes I feel like it's an excellent learning time go all, go all in ask the questions challenge too because this is all about truth there's the best thing you can do is maintain your spiritual authority in any any conversation or any type of room that is instructing about something sacred between you and your creator <laughs> enlightenment you always maintain your spiritual authority that's my big big if you get nothing else out of my readings I actually love it when people say no you're wrong lady Baba G is like good I like that you're on the right path and then you know it's it's good to hold an objective view that you've or I always have to look and go and um, you know it's very possible I'm wrong <laughs> believe it or not <laughs> and sometimes I really am we've got 43 so we've got 42 43 44 enlightenment look from the highest perspective see the divine in everyone everyone's on a path to see the divine in each other that's why we have these toxic relationships because we're like this person gives me access to that feeling of connection to source through love and you know it's, it's not them love the love is love the love is the source from love the person could be a nightmare i'm very candid today i don't know what's going on anyway we're, we're truth truth telling mary 
deep spiritual part what's your ninth house you are what's happening there because this is a key moment stay in your integrity sometimes it's embarrassing to admit truth and we've got emotions you know emotions can be high and we, we don't want to go there but there's something really important about your frequency and your energy staying truthful because of this manifestation You know, I often say that the only evil in the world is born from one energy, which is apathy. When we lose our care factor, when we lose our drive to look after each other and to build and expand and create, that breeds evil behavior and deeds and this is enthusiasm and joy is something that this wound healing is centered upon you haven't given up and this is being acknowledged but maybe there's been you know days where you've been tested tested to find you know any type of joy in the world where do you see it but this is your soul calling to come here at this time and to try and hold the light if you've done any healing shadow work any ancestral healing you 10 steps ahead of most people and you just have to hold the light in the world that's the most important thing to do to be one of those people out in public where you know that sad down depressed kid is looking around going what is this world even about and your energy changes that because there's an example in the world of somebody who is hopeful and is doing things recreationally and for fun is what I'm getting. Big, big spiritual learning happening. And you could be have been on the spiritual path for a long time, done a huge amount of work, but here it comes. It's coming in like a freight train, they're saying. It is coming in hot because this it's like time's up on this contract time is up if you can hold the truth of who you are and maintain this joy enthusiasm there's no other choice but for this divine law to be enacted courage you have what it takes just do it we your angels are here to support you beautiful you're being encouraged encouraged to have that bravery to look elsewhere around you for anything that gives you joy one of the things i love i know it sounds cheesy but i love seeing people find out how beautiful they are like and i love seeing people like where they find something that they love doing especially as a teacher like i just i love it when nerds just get into something in mass and things like that but when someone finds out like oh yeah i look i look good or i'm beautiful on the inside because I, I have this and this value and I did this I love that makes I could watch that shit all day honestly like there's just nothing better I get like really excited for people when they start loving on themselves <laughs> all right what are we manifesting this is that consumption hmm we do have an ascended master with that first. It's going to be a little bit tricky this one, I feel. What are we consuming? It feels like lies. And so then we're cooking up toxicity. Health, healing. Babaji alignment unifying polarities there's an overcorrection first it's coming back to the center i'm seeing what is that it's an overcorrection i'm going to pull a few cards on this
this has to do with that text I saw, an ancient text, not a text message. Yes, it gives information about one thing, but it's more about the fact it's written down has created space for something else, maybe a place of learning, medicine wheel, healing, a new day. We enter the medicine wheel as the sun rises. Now, is this about a deeper healing that has balanced that day-night energy, that masculine feminine energy, maybe 35 and 36? We've got a lot of sequ sequential numbers. There's wisdom here, Native American wisdom as well. I'm seeing Sedona with these and light codes. Okay. You attract what you're a match to. Now that's not a, a cop out. That's a, you can't attract what you can't see. If you can't perceive it, it's not enough that it bounces off you. It's, there's something about you perceiving as much as you can, having a wide view, because what you look at will look back at you. <laughs> Oof, we're going, we're going in deep here. Lemurian seed codes, embracing sensitivity, uniqueness, living with grace. Your sensitivity is a gift because it means that your, your ability to perceive is greater than most. Now we got a manifesto, but I'm going to get another Lemurian. Can you show me the Lemurian seed codes? Oh, there's a lot here. This is the rest of that data. That's, that's a different way of recording information. And we might get stuck in the mind about, well, I can't decode that. Yep, it's all about feeling as part of your sense perception. You are what you seek. If you're perceiving something, you are that something as well because nothing is created that's supposed to come together that isn't, oh, that's hard to explain. It's like flowers bloom and we can see them and we're a match to them and the flower and our perception and our consciousness of the flower is not separate. It's an interdependent system and if you're picking up on this information because of your sensitivity it's because that you are one with it at some point in linear time in the past you were one with it already within you there's nothing to do in the mind though it's the space Show me this Lemurian seed code. We've got reclaim your energy. And I actually just did a panther reading yesterday as well about reclaiming your power. Let me have a look at this. Now she, in this particular, oh, it's number 42 as well. Reclaim your energy, enthusiasm, joy. This is a really strong message. Here is, here's your energy. You've got six arms in this image, which is all about the different dimensions. You, your physical hands are fixing your crown. And we've got these other arms and hands touching the stars. So this is a multi-dimensional aspect to you. You don't have to worry about it other than being open and, and having the space 
to not think that I don't mean to say it like this but not think that we know the finality of a situation like that stuck water the water has to flow and bring new information constantly your energy is part of this language it, it's energy language with Babaji here it's I'm gonna have a sip of my coffee I just realized I've got my Pocahontas cup too with that um, Native American medicine wheel and she I love in the movie the Disney movie that song um, paint with all the colors of the wind it's reminding me of this hmm okay let me get Reclaim your energy. The anointed answer the call, leadership, empowerment, and soul gifts. An, an anointing is very powerful, whether it be something that you do in the privacy of your own home. I do it every day. Um, I use a lot of essential oils on my crown. It's just ceremonial too in, in something in the practice of that is quite meditative for me. It honours my role that I do each day and that's something that is going to help you reclaim your energy. Now you don't have to do anointments with oils and things like that but this is about accepting your role in this life not to give up because your soul came here to hold the light if nothing else that was the most valuable thing that any of us could do we could do nothing else and you know feel like a real failure as a human being but actually we've been more successful than maybe you know entire generations by simply holding some sense of hope ability to love and show care I mean it's getting it's getting pretty benign out there in the world sometimes it's getting very robotic stale it's it's alarming I've seen the change as a teacher with children's imaginations and their ability to create a story it's becoming something that provokes anger in them if they're not given a, you know a great deal of formula and structure there is very little creative writing ability left in our youth at the moment which is really really sad because we need the ability to think up solutions to problems that haven't happened before we need the imagination Oof. what are we cooking up over here A miracle thank goodness for that Merkabah 33 and 32 it's all sequential something's happening in order the frequency of miracles supports our belief in ourselves as part of source and therefore our belief that anything is possible that's that joy and enthusiasm when we feel like we are loved by source we're a part of source we have that divinity connection that radiates it's shocking to really get a sense that people don't have that but they absolutely can have that unlocked by seeing others emanating that in the world and that's that's one of the reasons you're here and then of course we've got Merkaba. now they're coming back to the monad with this with getting access to that original creator blueprint or or plan it says the Merkabah supports our ability to use our consciousness to tra traverse into other layers of reality and di reality and dimensions it activates our access to our Akashic inheritance as well manifesta law of compensation interesting 
merging the totality of our experiences into our present to serve our highest purpose. This has to do hold the integrity because something's about to happen. There's a distribution of something here. That's why you've got to reclaim your energy in truth, no matter what it is. The deception just diverts the energy, the resources to different timelines. It doesn't work. Just be you. Reflection. <laughs> Reflect upon life experience. 45. So we've got <laughs> 42, 43, 44 and 45. I'm just going to scry off this card. I'm seeing a Joker, not the Joker from Batman, a Joker card. This is a trickster energy, but it's on a bend. There's a false diversion. There has been a false diversion, but it, it doesn't mean that you're out of the race. Something... You feel like you can't move. You can't get out of this this maze. This is that thirst. It, it feels almost like wanting to give up. You can move mountains though. Because you overcome obstacles you have before and you're going to do it again. Enlightenment. And we've got ninth house. This is a spiritual test. Energy. The volcano relationships express, it actually says don't stagnate. Something is about to happen. Don't wait. And by that, if you're like, oh, I don't know what to do, just be real about everything at the moment. And don't, I'm not saying, you know, it's mainly being real to you. Like if we lie to ourselves then there's every chance we're just going to lie to everyone else and believe our own story. Just make sure that you're real with yourself about where you're at, what brings you happiness, what has been just tough and you wish it wasn't, and why does everyone else find it easy. Alignment, it's coming together, precision, something very, very precise here because you're being taught by a master here. Now, whether or not you're in a course or not, or you're just mentoring with the Ascended Masters, which I suspect a lot of you are. They're not mucking around. Like they're not, It's no sloppy, oh, 50% will do. It's 100% or nothing. It's This is the thing. This is the lesson. This is the learning. This is the truth. This is how truth feels. Reclaim it. It's powerful. Lady Venus, downloads and understanding. Oh, a heart chakra. I'm seeing that um, I love Pink Floyd. I'm seeing that refraction of the spectrum of light through her heart. It says, truth is being revealed. Deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm. The Holy Spirit expect miracles. Oof viewer remember that only love is real miracles will occur naturally spirit has your back yes spirit does there's the holy grail where was that what have you been searching for that will give you a mirror up to what you are. If you're longing for love, connection, happiness, joy, it's because you know deep down that's what you are. There's been a block by false information telling you you're not that, telling you you're not, you know, it could even be physical stuff. What you search for in bravery and courage, 
is a thing that you actually are in truth. That's the monad. That's the original creator. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> That's what it is. The Essene monad. What you've been seeking in this life, maybe in many lifetimes, it points to the truth of what you are. I experience love in all its beautiful glory. You are beauty, you are love, and you belong. Yeah, one more of these, and then we've got our Rumi Oracle. Interesting reading. You are what you seek. So what does that mean? If you aspire, let's let's take a pretty straightforward example. To travel the world, to have adventures, to see all the different historical sites around the world. And you've never been able to do it, you've been blocked. It's the the original plan for you had to do with your expansion and joy and what fulfills you that's the reason why you're you and there's that negative energy that targets that that sees that that's unfortunately there is energy in the world that seeks to neutralize joy and enthusiasm and you it's not you because you are going to pull off this comeback from almost giving up <laughs> in that there's going to be, you know, this level of oof, hope and happiness in your life. Possibility is well and truly on the ta table. We've got 4324 meditation connect to higher wisdom. We've got this Riantra here, which is a really integrated polarity here. From this is to do with this ninth house. Oh, you could be working with Buddha energy, Bodhisattva energy. That's what I'm getting. Tibetan energy. I'm seeing Shangri La. This silence this space has to do with this mystery too with something being written down because it opens the space up for something else to go somewhere that's a, a high level spiritual teaching optimal health and well-being now we've got the kitchen here this is all about your body's health and the physical state let me get a tarot. I haven't used any of my tarot decks in this reading. So let's have a look at this kitchen, physical health. I've got Babaji here. I've got double Babaji here. Babaji is one of two of my most sacred guides. Some people have said, do you call yourself Lady Babaji because you think that you are have, like having that energy. I'm like, goodness me, I'm a human being. I'm, I'm not, I would, I'm lucky to experience that connection to the energy and I can see it when it's coming up in the world around me, in nature and in occasionally very, very special individuals. But I have this name in my spiritual practice as an honoring of the Divine Father because I think that the re-emerging of this healed, not healed because it wasn't wounded to begin with with Babaji, but this, this very beautiful sacred masculine energy that is so wise, is so fair and knows what to do. So that's why it's a it's an honoring like you know when you name your child after your grandparent things like that we've got the nine of swords stress worry health 
Now, interesting, we've got this monkey not being able to get to the water. Now, I'm not certain that this doesn't actually mean something literal, like some kind of access to water is like it's they're unable to access water but again it could just be that unable to go into the subconscious to heal what is making someone sick absolutely I think both of those very well sometimes the physical manifestation is a pointer to the spiritual and vice versa. We've got the magician in reverse. Oh, this is on purpose. Somebody's manipulating a situation or is incompetent. What is that? They don't know what to do. They are worried, sick. Death. Oof. Anubis. Let me get. One more. I may have to do an extended on this health. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. That's a yes. We've got the hermit in reverse. This is a real, it feels really incompetent energy. It feels like unenlightened. Oof, three of swords, big health issues, illness, four of cups, apathy, the tower two of swords i'm going to turn a blind eye to it oh we need to go in deeper with this part of the reading this is a separate reading on its own because it, with this divine father energy the love that babaji has for the earth is very very pure and unconditional this could be a protective message as well um so I'm going to I'm going to spend some time just channeling that energy now and I'll upload the extended reading within the next few hours. You can check out the description box below. Actually, I've got one more for the Rumi Oracle. Um, yeah, so the description box below will have how you can view the extended one. We always do a Rumi Oracle the end of the Magdalene Consciousness readings and final messages I love this card it's one of my favorite I'm going to read this one star mother Arrakis 23 and number two passion for purpose this is that joy reclaiming your energy enthusiasm we really tap into a lot of cosmic energy when we are driven to do something that we love and we desire. That's your that's your challenge at the moment. Stay connected to that energy within you. All right, Star Mother. Be the king who has made his own kingdom. Be the moon that has made her own summit. How much longer will you cuckoo like a pigeon, empty your head of all mortal lusts and become life without breath? You will not call out for God anymore, for you have become immersed in God. Your star mother, Arrakis, dances with your soul on the celestial inner planes. She dances in the embrace of Father Sky, shining white and pale, deep in devotion to the light behind all that is. Arrakis, dancing star of the heavens, incites our souls to feel the rhythm of life and surrender to it in flow, in grace, stumbling in play, like a child who thinks not of the right steps, but just moves with music and with joy. She reminds you to dance freely, yes, and from your heart. She reminds you, and this is that Babaji energy will always protect the feminine's desire and freedom to dance freely she reminds you that your soul is constantly dancing with the divine what better way to connect with the joy and beauty of your soul than to mimic its movements so dance beloved let your being dance oh arrakis your bright beauty penetrates even the darkest of minds to remember 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 they need to see you dancing it helps them remember 
She calls out, her voice is music to our hearts. You are a child of heaven. You are born of such regal stuff, dear dancing child of the stars. When you suffer, I send you my comfort as stars falling from the sky. When you triumph, my dance becomes wild and light erupts from my heart in all directions. The light becomes music, stirring within you with an urge almost inexplicable and yet so very deep and real. To make music, to create art, to dance, to play, to be at one with the joyful, creative energy that dwells within you, beloved. Wow. Now, it does have a little bit more, but I am going to put that in the description box below because that one's quite long, but I think that that's a message in there as well for somebody out there. So I'm going to put that in the description box below. And if that resonated for you, thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing to my channel. I really do appreciate you being here and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.